Hi, this is David Henson with Henson First Attorneys serving all of North Carolina. When a wrongful death occurs and families come to us, they often feel like they have a million questions and no answers. Our goal is to try and answer as many of the legal questions as possible so that the family can finally focus on coming together and grieving the loss of their loved one. Among the most confusing and stressful legal concepts in wrongful death cases is understanding what a personal representative is and how an estate should be set up. So first, what is a personal representative? A personal representative is someone appointed to handle all of the affairs of the person who died, also called the decedent. That is done by the court through something called an estate which is a term used collectively to describe all of a person's property, belongings, and wealth. An estate is usually set up in the county in which the decedent lived. If a person died without a will, then the personal representative is called the administrator of the estate. If they died with a valid will, then the personal representative is called an executor of the estate. Now, for those who died without a will and with only a minimal amount of assets and small number of heirs, then an estate can usually be set up without a lawyer. This is a relatively simple matter that can usually be done in one or two visits to the courthouse. It involves a couple of forms that must be filled out by the personal representative and any family members who would be entitled to receive money from the estate. If you want to have a lawyer to assist, then that's fine. But I found that for simple estates, the family can save a lot of money by handling it themselves. You can even download all of the forms in advance from the wrongful death pages on our website. Now, if the individual who died had no will, but a large amount of assets or a large number of potential heirs, particularly if those heirs may be more prone to disagreeing or fighting over money, then it may be advisable to hire a lawyer to assist in the appointment of the administrator of the estate. Now, if the decedent had a valid written will, then the appropriate documents must be submitted to the court for probate and appointment of an executor of the will. The executor is responsible for handling all matters of the estate. Copies of all of the forms required to open an estate under a will are also available on our website on the wrongful death page. In the end, the appointment of an administrator or executor of an estate is an important first step to investigating and bring forward a wrongful death claim. Once appointed by the court, the administrator or executor is given all of the proper legal powers to make decisions on behalf of the estate and on behalf of all of the heirs to hire an attorney and decide what legal courses of action to take. If you have additional questions, please visit our website at lawmed.com. This is David Henson with Henson First Attorneys.